The narcissist is going to offer you absolutely no encouragement or support. I would imagine a cadaver might give you better advice <laughs> than a narcissist. I mean, it's like they basically don't want you to improve your life in any capacity because if you improve your life, then how are you going to be a slave to them and how are you going to worship them? The only thing the narcissist wants for you is for you to be their slave. Um, and for example, in my own life, you know, I'm back in college and if I finish, you know, I'll double my income and I'll be doing, you know, really good for myself. And the person saying, oh, well, you know, college is stupid. Oh, it's a, what's the point of it? This and that. Just trying to discourage me. And, you know, you have to put it all together and realize they don't have any good intentions for you whatsoever. You know, they just want you to idolize them. And they don't want you to be doing better than them. So any improvements, of course, they're going to discourage it. So... You know, and they'll make, they'll take little digs to chip away at your self esteem. And, you know, things like saying, oh, college is stupid and this and that. Well, you know, the devil is the author of confusion. They want to put seeds of doubt in your mind and get you all confused and get you off your path and your destiny and your path that you're supposed to be going on because they're not doing anything in their lives and they didn't finish college so why would they want you to you know and they don't they don't they don't like teachers anyway because they think they know everything and they think they're god so why would they need a teacher so of course they're going to discourage you from improving your life in any capacity and they also they offer zero support i mean you have to remember they're an automaton you know it's like talking to the terminator you know they have a robot like they have no emotion of anything so it's almost like someone with down syndrome but then that that would be kind of offensive to to people with down syndrome and i don't want to offend them so i mean it's just not their minds are diseased, so trying to have a conversation with them is just like trying to glue jello to a wall. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's just like, why? You cannot go to them for anything. So being in a relationship, a romantic relationship, a friendship, doing anything with them, period is just a complete waste of time. I mean, it's just, you're going to just completely stagnate your whole life. The whole entire time you were dealing with them, your whole life has been stagnated and you've stepped into crazy town and warped your entire existence. You know, so the idea is just use sheer logic get rid of emotions, you're not an emotional basket case, see things for what they are and get the hell out of there, get the hell away from them. You know, obviously if you have children, it makes things a lot trickier. You know, I, I don't have that situation, but I know that would make things a lot more difficult um, because, especially if you have joint custody, because then, you know, then that, that's really difficult and you do, you may have to deal with them. But in any situations where you do not have children, just get the hell out of Dodge and don't ever look back and start winning at life. Make improvements to your life. Do one thing every day for yourself and just take little baby steps to get yourself back healthy from these demons you know this is spiritual warfare this is good versus evil and we are on the side of light so when you've had this dark entity in your life for so long you've now been corrupted and you now need to heal yourself and detox yourself from all of that toxicity 
So, you know, start having a really good diet and start taking care of yourself, exercising, start doing little things for yourself to pick up the pieces. Okay? 